Hello everyone, this is Chris Pelosi with your Technology Tip Screencast. This screencast is going to deal with Google Maps. Google Maps is something that people use to find driving directions, to see a quick simple map of an area they might be visiting, but if you're signed into a Google account, Google Maps gives you a feature called My Maps where you can create customized maps with annotations that you can integrate into the classroom. Now, maps are great for spicing up lessons of distance for science, social study, geographic areas, ELA, maybe the area where uh, a novel takes place, in math for proportions or map scale. Today, I'm going to show an example of math and an area problem using a Google map. So right now, I'm going to zoom into Rockland County, New York. I'm going to have my students do a problem where they have to estimate the area of Rockland County. This is good to use with a lesson on the area of triangles. Rockland County is roughly in the shape of a triangle. So I'm going to have my students estimate the, the area in miles of Rockland County. Right now I'm signed into my Google account. I can see about the whole of Rockland County right here. I'm going to go over to the left side here and I'm going to click on something called My Maps. Now under My Maps you can see all the maps I've created here. I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to call it Area of Rockland. I'm going to tell my students in the description to please estimate the area in miles of Rockland County. Now this is bringing relevance to the students. They live in Rockland. It's also getting them using technology. They're looking at a map on the computer. And the annotations I put on a map are going to help the, the students solve the problem. So rather than just have the students look up an air, a map and the area of Rockland, it's hard to see the borders of Rockland. So when I'm in the edit mode, you'll notice right here on the top left, there's a hand a balloon it looks like which is place marks and a line right here this is what lets you edit the map the hand just lets you drag the map around the balloon if I click on it I can place a place mark on the map so I'm gonna do the borders of Rockland for my students so they can see what area they have to estimate so I'm gonna estimate south I'm gonna title this place mark south and this is under the description, the southern most point of Rockland. And when you're adding a description to the place mark, you have three choices, plain text, rich text, or edit HTML. So for I'm going to do three place marks, and I'll go through each one for the place marks I do. So for plain text, it's pretty straightforward. You just simply type in what you see is what you'll get on the place mark when your students go to it. If I want to change my place mark, you can change the color or design of the place mark. And there's a bunch of preloaded ones, pictures, and just plain text. I'm going to change mine maybe to red. If you want to upload your own, you can add your own icon. This has to be a URL. You can't upload a picture. So you have to have your picture you want to use already add a URL. And that's it. My information for my southern place marks done. Press OK. And it's there. If you look on the left hand side, the place mark I listed is right here. When I click on it, you see the balloon come up. Now I'm going to find the western most part of Rockland. So I'm going to place it about here. Call it west. Describe it, describe it as the western most point of Rockland okay uh, instead of having two red place marks I'm gonna change this one to purple and now I'm gonna click over to the rich text this gives you a couple of options now I can make my font look a little different I can make it bold italic underline I can change the size of it color of it highlight it add a link bullet points or add a picture so when I change the color maybe I'll change it to red 
And why don't I put a link in? If I highlight Rockland and I go to the Rockland County website, copy that URL, hit link, and paste the link in there. Now when someone clicks on this description and they click on Rockland, they can go to the county website. And press OK. So now I have the southernmost point, westernmost point. You see them over here. Now I'm going to put the northernmost point. Click on my place mark. Estimate where to go. If you want to get more accurate where you're placing your place marks, just zoom in on your map. Place it down. Let's change the color. Let's call it north. Describe it. Northernmost point of Rockland. And now I'm going to add an image in. If you if you find an image online and it has a URL, like this is a compass in the north, you can copy the URL where the image is. Oops. So I'm going to copy the URL, click on image right here, and paste it in. Press OK. And it will put the picture under the bubble. So when someone clicks on the bubble, they'll see that picture. So if you need to add to your story or to the problem, you can put pictures in. Okay. And now I have laid out the southern, western, and northern points of Rockland County. I might want to add some lines in, though, to show the shape of the county and then maybe show students that it's a triangle. So you can just draw a regular just line from one point to another. And what's nice about this is that it measures it in miles as you do it. I can do it like this. And I have a line where, again, I can add a description in the bubble. I'm going to do a shape instead. So I'm going to delete this line. So I'm going to click on a line over here. Press delete. You can also draw a line along roads. But I'm actually going to draw a shape. So with a shape, you can draw a polygon. So I'm going to start here, estimate up to here, estimate down to here, and your last click of your shape should be a double click. And now I have a triangle here, so I'm going to call it Area Rockland, and maybe on the description I'll tell my students, please estimate this area. Okay. So I have my three place marks and my shape, and you can see them over here, south, west, north, and the area of Rockland shape. So let me press on save here. And I'm done. If I want to print out this map, I can print it. I can subscribe to an RSS feed of this map for changes. You can see the traffic. They have photos, videos, or Wikipedia entries you can add. This is pre-uploaded by people. I can look at this map in Google Earth. I can email this map to someone, or which I'm going to do now is I can get a link for this map. So I'm going to copy this link, and then I can put it on my class website. So I can say, okay, go to my class website, click on this link to go to the map. You also can embed the map in websites. Okay, so why don't I sign out here so you can see what a student might be looking at when they go to the map. I'll put the link up here. And I'll go to the map. So the description comes up on the left, area of Rockland. They see the map on the right. They can click on the bubbles, or the place marks, sorry, westernmost point of Rockland, northern point of Rockland. They see the picture I put on. And southern point of Rockland. And they, when they click on this, they can say, please estimate this area. So you might want to put your question in a couple areas so your students can find it. And now the students have to use their estimation skills in the map. They're going to have to use the map scale down here to estimate and find the area of Rockland. I'm going to log back in because there's one last feature I didn't show that I want to show for some advanced users. You might want to edit the HTML 
for the map and what I use this for is to add videos in so since the students are estimating the area of Rockland and the area of Rockland is a triangle I went on YouTube and I found a video that shows you how to find the area of a triangle I clicked on embed and I'm going to take this code I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it under the western place mark so I want to edit and I'm going to click over to edit HTML and I'm going to paste my code in here now my code right here is for width of 960 height of 745 that would be a large video for the map so I'm going to do the video 300 width by 300 height press OK save it let me click on it see if I can see the video okay I see the video in here okay let's save again and press done let's get that link again we'll sign out to show what it looks like from a student perspective I'm already at the so now when the student clicks on the Western map they'll see the video for how to find the area of a triangle how to find the area of a triangle and that's how you can integrate maps in the classroom you keep it simple you don't have to worry about adding videos or pictures just maybe place a couple of bookmarks in there and send the links out to your students try embedding it into your website and have fun with it